Cameron Chai from Azo Nano and I'm bringing you another episode of azonano.com TV and today we're speaking to Francois Blatteron from Digital Surf and he's going to tell us about their Mountains Map software for surface and texture analysis. Hello, uh, Mountains Map is a surface texture analysis software that Digital Surf uh, develops for uh, 20 years now. It's a software uh, provided to instrument manufacturers uh, it's the main application is to image and analyze uh, data coming from uh, all types of instruments like uh, optical profilometers, uh, confocal microscopes, uh, SPM, uh, all instruments that are able to produce uh, topography or uh, any kind of uh, information on a surface. Um, uh, this year we introduced the version 6 of our uh, product, Mountains Map, and uh, we bring a lot of new uh, features such as overlay uh, of uh, uh, the phase or uh, the color information on the surface, uh, force curve analysis. Um, uh, we introduced a 64-bit version uh, for uh, analysis, analyze the, the, the images uh, of large da data. Uh, Arno, Arno Vio, my colleague, uh, will uh, show you the uh, demonstration of the software. Hi, I'm Arno. So let me show you the new Montens version 6 and to make a live demonstration of the software. As you can see here, there is a, a surface uh, in 3D. It's a polymer with the uh, gold deposition on the top and one of the benefits of the mountain technology is uh, visualize your surface. So here is a surface of about one micron height with an animation of the rotation. So first of all I'd like to show you the document which is uh, a series of information on the left side of the document of the uh, user interface you have a page viewer containing uh, the three page of information in the center you have the active part of the document in order to work on the application and to highlight some characteristics of the surface and on the right side of the uh, user interface you can see the analysis workflow which is the information contents into the document so let me show you the beginning of the document this is only some information about the information about the measurement itself uh, you have the resolution you have the top view of the surface again you have the 3d view of the surface and you have some parameters about the surface texture uh, from the surface so it's a roughness analysis of the surface anytime you have uh, an information like parameters or studies it's possible to press F1 and get a general information about the parameter study for example so you get a large list of information and help. The um, help menu consisting on a series of information. The full uh, information is about 600 pages of help so it's huge and in addition of that the software is able to speak your language so if you select the general preferences you can switch to English to French, Japanese, Chinese, Korean so it's up to you. So, in this document you have some um, advanced analysis from the last ISO parameters. For example, here you have the motif analysis, which is a, a pattern analysis. So, anytime you want to know about the specific uh, uh, characteristics of the uh, single uh, motif, you can click on it and get on the bottom uh, right, left the information about the size, the heights 
and the volume of the motif. So it's a very new trend of the uh, surface analysis based on the segmentation of the surface by motif. So you have in this document also some other kind of uh, features for the uh, based on the FFT uh, characteristics and the furrows analysis and you get by the end of the document some profile extraction so it's possible to make an interactive uh, setup of the uh, profile extraction more than that if you move to the analysis workflow you can see there is an icon here uh, if you double click on the icon it's possible to change the profile extraction uh, way and make something very complicated on the top so I do not recommend this kind of things but it's for demonstration and and now I have a very large uh, profile extraction with new parameters calculated and refreshed by the new profile extraction so the software itself is very interactive Anytime you have a document, you can open it and modify it and eventually you can make some more um, analysis. For example, I want to add a zoom, so I go to operators, zoom in, and I want to zoom on a, on a small particle here. Now I get a zoom in my document, I can put some illustration about it and I can put some additional information like surface texture parameters. So now, anytime I change the position of my zoom, I get a new uh, zoom and a new uh, parameters calculation. So this is very flexible for the user. It provides also a very good traceability because any document contains all information about the analysis workflow but the real magic things from the mountain software technology is the interactivity with the uh, file itself. So as you can see here, I was using the surface number three. If I double click on the surface number three, I can switch to another one, maybe the surface number one, and then, and then the document is automatically recalculated with a new surface. So uh, we can check it. So you can see that all features now, all analysis, all studies refers to the surface number one. And if I do it again, I can um, make maybe surface number two. So everything could be refreshed by a simple clicking on a mouse. So any document can be used uh, as a template and could be applied on a series of measurements. So this is a general benefit of the mountain software technology. Okay, and so your software is compatible with uh, most instruments, most, most instruments that uh, look at surfaces of materials? Yes, that's a perfect question, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the software um, is not uh, depending on the size of the object measured. You can use it for atomic uh, scale, so for AFM, AFM system, STM systems, but you can use it for um, microscopy applications, scanning probe uh, application, tactile or optical, and also fringe projection system like uh, uh, the biggest one for the large surface of the automotive bodywork. So there is no uh, limitation in terms of the object that you can uh, measure or analyze with the mountain software technology. All right, and if anybody wants more information or wants to buy your software, they can do that through your website. We have a website, which is a digitalsoft.com, and uh, yes, you can so get if some. If want more information, they can find it there at digitalsoft.com. Yes. All right, Anna, thanks very much for your demonstration of the Mountains Map software. Thank you very much as well. I'm waiting for your click on our website and communication.